Good morning. It's a brisk 31 degrees here in southern New Jersey, and it's April. Let's take the A-liner on its next journey. Here we go. All right, guys, I uh, thought I'd show you this just because it's kind of cool. This is our halfway point situation here. She's, she's getting packed up. All right, guys, so we're all hooked up. And I want to try a new toy. Uh, well, these things. They're detachable, extendable side mirrors for the van so that I can see better because in this particular configuration that I have going, I cannot see behind myself. So not cool. Let's see what these look like. So the ones I got slide in here. You just tighten this. And then this will loosen in order to see how far you want these to come out. Um, I took a test drive with them, so I know where I want them. And you get a little bit of shake here, but I ride a Harley, so it's nothing compared to what I'm dealing with. <laughs> and uh, they seem to help, but I haven't test drove them with the trailer attached. So we'll see what happens. So now the van will look something like that. Um, you do want to check these, make sure they're tight. You can loosen things here with just a little wrench that they give you for these. And you, they do need to be flush here. And when you tighten them, you obviously don't want to squeeze so hard that you bust your plastic on your mirror we'll see what happens i'm hoping that these things do the trick i'll let you guys know all right guys so we're in cape may uh sun retreat campgrounds and i'm gonna do my water and show you step by step because i didn't get into that last time here is the um surge protector and electric and i'm gonna get into the water first time trying it let's do it so first thing I'm doing is I'm putting this piece on here to protect from a surge of water just blowing through this wall this is a super super enforced and should help with that all right so this is what I figured out I'm running a filter off of the water I barely opened up the water it shot out a lot of pink chemical and then a lot of black sludge and then it became clean and then I have like a marine grade hose and then I had to use an extension here to make this fit right but now it's fitting right I tried it the other way I tried it with the filter against the the uh, trailer and I felt like it was really pulling on it and over time that would be bad and then the other thing I want you to see was when you run the sink, uh, this is what we're dealing with here because this is an A-liner scout. So I just have that little extra piece there, right there. And I don't need hose. I have hose, but I don't need it. It just goes straight in the bucket from there. All right guys, so if you don't like the blue light situation in the A-liner, uh, we have the Scout, I don't actually know if all A-liners are like this, but I believe they are. Um, here's something that we tried last night. Uh, here we go, let me show So you can see the light. It stays blue unless it's on. 
right? You do the whole touch thing. So we just took sticky notes, like post-it notes, put it over top of it, except for without it being on. So. We just did something like that. I don't know. One way to handle it. Hey guys, so I decided not to use the two burner stove, pull it out and cook at the Scout because I wanted to do that outside, but it's kind of windy out. So we'll do like breakfast for dinner maybe if the wind chills. We're at uh, Ocean View Diner here in Cape May. They do have a, a great foodie scene here and this is right across from the beach. So I thought I would point this out to you guys. You can see the water there. Um, it's supposed to get like gale force winds later so even though it is windy we're going to try and sneak in a walk now and uh yeah definitely come check this place out On a spot uh, adjustment, guys. I had to get one, so we had to place to wipe our feet off, Madame. What do you think? Oh, 